to where these guys started, not even knowing how to put an instrument together or how to play it, I think you'll be pretty amazed at what they can do reading this music. We're going to take you through those two and a half to three months in about the next five minutes. We're just going to highlight some of the things they've been playing in their lessons. So the first song that they got to play was Mary Had a Little Lamb. That was a big exciting moment when they could do Mary Had a Little Lamb and then after that, Hot Cross Buns. So we'll play those two for you right now. units. Next we'll show you what we did on unit five. Unit five was also three note songs, those same three pitches, but what we did is we did some songs that weren't as familiar to them. So we tried to make sure that they were reading the music and not just playing it by how they thought it should sound, which they could do on those first two numbers. So off this unit we'd like to play Eau Claire de la Lune and Down by the Station. What we got to do is add a new pitch. Um, it may be hard to believe, but you get tired of those same three notes over and over. There's only so much you can do. So we added a fourth pitch. For this one, what we did is we gave totally original songs, songs that we had composed, so we knew there was no way they could do it unless they were reading that music. So these are two songs, Merry-Go-Round and Parade Time.
Now what you'll notice is that some of the students at certain points are going to drop out of playing, and that's okay. That's okay. What we have is we have it set up that they check songs off, and they go through the system checking them off in order. So some of the students you're going to see are playing every single song, and that's fantastic. Some are going to play about half these songs, and when they hit that point where they haven't checked it off yet, that's something for them to work on for the spring concert to be working towards. So that, I just want to point that out as you see that going on. That's why you'll see less and less playing as these songs get tougher and tougher. They maybe haven't gotten to all of these yet. The next one is on Unit 7. This one is called Three to Get Ready. The reason it's called Three to Get Ready is because it has a lot of rests in here. What that means is that they have to do a lot of waiting, which is actually harder than playing for most students. Most students want to play all the time, so to try and count when you're not playing is a little tougher. Final band number is kind of a push to get a Christmas song ready by Christmas, your first year. It's not easy to do. A few students have managed to do it. We're going to be looking at Unit 9. Unit 9. And a few students have a song called Good King Wenceslas checked off. So we'll give them a moment to find that on Unit 9. And these are the students that have checked off Good King Wenceslas. So they actually got a Christmas song in December. Street fifth grade band. One more hand for them, please. Woo! It'll be just probably about two minutes or so. We need to have these students going out into the hallway, getting back in line to sing, and we'll bring all the, the third, fourth, and fifth graders in, and they're going to sing for you next. 